Good afternoon, everybody. Shavua Tov. Welcome to a new week and welcome to the Israel Brief, brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm Arlene Marks, your host, bringing you the top stories from Israel and surrounds every Monday to Thursday. You can find us right here on our Facebook page at Lottel's site or on our YouTube channel at The Israel Brief. And we ask you to help us get Israel's news out to the world because as we've seen over the last couple of weeks, getting Israel's side of the story seems to be a mammoth task. And this is where you can really help us by liking our content and sharing it. But without further ado, let's get into those top stories. And as of 2 a.m. on Friday morning, a ceasefire has been in place between Israel and terror elements in the Gaza Strip following Operation Guardians of the Wall. Israel and Hamas came under a lot of pressure from the international community to enter into a ceasefire. And uh, while Hamas gave signs that they were ready to enter earlier than Israel, Israel wanted to strike as many targets, do as much damage to Hamas's terror infrastructure as possible. In a briefing to the media on Friday afternoon, Prime Minister Netanyahu joined by Benny Gantz, the Defense Minister, Aviv Kochavi, the IDF Chief of Staff, and Argamon, the Chief of the Security Forces. They reiterated that they believe they have uh, reached their military target and have seriously set back Hamas by several years. So let's take a look at Operation Guardians of the Wall by the numbers. In excess of 4,360 rockets were fired from the Strip into Israel, at least 90% intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome system. 14 Israelis were killed. Over 200 terrorists in the Gaza Strip were killed as well. We don't have a final count or a final tally on civilian casualties, but uh, what we do know is that many of them were killed and injured by in excess of 460 rockets that fell either short of the border and landed in the Gaza Strip all were misfired, including at least five children that we know of. Israel's armies managed to destroy over 60 miles, that is over 100 kilometers worth of terror tunnel, destroying the metro underground that is used to smuggle weapons and also to launch possible attacks on Israeli civilians, as well as taking out 1,500 or more terror targets and, uh, as I mentioned, eliminating many of Hamas's terrorists. And uh, the army has said Mohammed Def, the head of Hamas's military wing, still remains a target. But uh, now that the ceasefire is in place, now what? Now comes the task of rebuilding uh, the Gaza Strip. And Benny Gantz has said that any funding, any monies towards or any efforts towards rebuilding the Gaza Strip must go through the Palestinian Authority rather than Hamas. He has said that we now need to work on sidelining Hamas, which is an internationally recognized terror organization, and focus more on uh, what he calls the moderates. Just moments ago, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken announced that he will be taking a trip to the region. He includes Cairo, Amman, Ramallah and Jerusalem as places he will visit to ensure that the ceasefire remains in place. And the ceasefire uh, that was brokered by the United States with the assistance of Egypt's President Sisi seems to be holding. But Israel has warned Hamas one rocket, one mortar, one breaking of that ceasefire, and we will strike with full force. And uh, in the aftermath of Operation Guardians of the Wall, we are more concerned now of the rising anti-Semitism around the world. It has escalated astronomically in cities like New York, London, Los Angeles, Miami, Johannesburg and other countries around the world and uh, from Israel's side we want to thank you all out there for supporting our country in our time of need and know that we are here for you we are supporting you our communities around the world in this very very dangerous and very trying time. 
In other news, as Israel returns to some kind of uh, normality, it was announced yesterday that as of tomorrow, Israel will lift all remaining COVID-19 restrictions. This means that the restrictions on gatherings will now be lifted, that uh, movie theaters will be reopened after being closed for 14 months. Yesterday, Israel started to welcome in groups of 20 from around the world, small travel groups that have come into the country to start to uh, reinvigorate our travel and tourism industry. And as for wearing masks indoors, a final verdict on that will be given in about two weeks' time. But yesterday, Israel recorded only 12 new cases of the COVID-19 virus. So after 14 months plus of uh, incredible difficulty and enduring this pandemic, this, it looks like Israel is finally opening up. Italy has announced that they will be conducting a probe into the horrendous accident yesterday on a cable car that cost the lives of 14 people, including five Israelis that belonged to one family, which included a two-year-old infant. A five-year-old child belonging to the family remains in critical condition, and our thoughts and our prayers are with uh, anybody affected by this horrible, horrible incident. And our final story for today, the relatives of the 45 victims of the Meron tragedy that took place on Mount Meron over Lagbe Omar have written to Prime Minister Netanyahu asking that an independent state inquiry take place into what resulted or what caused the horrible um, events of Lagba Omer, which saw the loss of 45 lives. Uh, just after the event happened, it was announced that some kind of inquiry would take place, but uh, relatives have insisted that this be an independent inquiry. They believe that an independent inquiry is the only way we will get definitive answers as to what exactly happened. Those are your top stories. Don't forget our content online on our website at www.layoftheland.online. That's layoftheland.online. We have quite a lot of uh, coverage and reportage about Operation Guardian of the Wall. And if you fancy yourself a Lay of the Land writer, please feel free to contact us via our website. Our contact details are up there or via Facebook. While you're on Facebook, if you haven't joined our growing community, welcome. Welcome to new members. Please give us a like or a follow and don't forget to share our content. You can join our YouTube community. We would love it if you do that. Click on that red subscribe button and join us in the Twitter first. Become our, a part of the Twitterati by following us on Twitter at Lay of the Land 5. That's at Lay of the Land with the digit 5. So with a new week here in Israel, a calmer week, we really, really hope that it lasts. I'm Raleigh Marks. This is the Israel Brief. Join us again tomorrow for your latest headlines.